Hey, welcome to Montanese Design in the continuation of a library development that we have been working on for a while. So in this episode, we are going to design a site plan, We're giving all the information that it sites need to be in on. So but before then, we were done our ground floor plan. You see most of this go to our YouTube channel, watch everything from beginning. So this is how we create the deputy library and the seminar lecture what we have at this ground floor plan. So we move to the first floor plan, then we have archive, balcony reader section, information manager, things like that. So the process we wish to create this one, you can continue to watch it as well. So then we have a loop plan, the way the loop plan is structured and every other things like that. So the simple method we were able to use to create this loop and get it done. So then our elevation, the uh, first uh, front view, this is how it looks like. So it's more of a commercial enterprise or the academic environment combination of elevation. So then the west side elevation, we have each side elevation, then the back which contains every other information that as well. So how the back of building looks like. So these are the information that we are able to trend upon this at this level. So you can be able to watch this consistently. At the same time, if you are not a subscriber to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel at this very moment. So thanks for watching. So we move on to the next thing. So here we want to model the whole thing. The sites were given as a large expense, so we run the work at the last key development. So what do we do? So the first thing you need to do is to use your component to do all these design criteria. So I'm going to site, massing and site. So I'm not going to use any of these topographies or anything, because what I just want to do is just an information uh, program consistently. So what I need to do is to work on what is available. So how do I do this? I'll pick on to post surface. So click on to post surface, create say, create sketch or create import or whatsoever, but this we are going to use create sketch to do this. So what do we need to do is to drop the points around where the file is supposed to be. So go to the side plan, the foundation to see and begin to create whatever you want to create. So start with the, the line. So do this and then and you click finish. Mm -hmm. So something is there, it says something is alighting. This one is going to be hidden or delete. So that's not what we need to work on here. So I'm deleting this. So I'm leaving this below. So go to 3D, this is your what to pull surface that we have created. So this one is in the editable. You can edit the sketch whatsoever you want to do to it and whatsoever you want to do to the galloping layer. You can modify the subsidiary field center as well if it's what you need by just adding and adding to this level. So you'll be able to push sorry. So add to this level, change the formation, like say okay I want to change it to minus 50. So select enter. So what happened? Stop a deal failure because of what? So expansion plus. Anyway, just leave it in the manner. So you can just change the pattern in which you want to use. Add the points, aside the point, and if you're like that. So you set or you just you visit the hosting. So it's in the development that has been taking place on this place. So go back to your architecture, then click on model components, in place model. So come to the site, search for sites, and uh, then you begin to work on site one, which is okay. So enter into this fun, uh, foundation. So you create your first open section. What I want to do is a packing that I want to create at this level. And I want to use that the part to do that. So select this and then select rectangular formation. Uh -huh. And this rectangular aspect. So we'll work on this by deleting this particular one. Sorry about that for my mouse is misbehaving. So select this particular then click. 
So as you have it there. So now I want to create some pattern that will make the size look robust. So what I do is that I'm going to use the arc to select that special point. So I'm selecting the arc here now. So I'm taking it in. So here I'm going to mirror this one. It's all about principle that you need to work on. So select this and mirror it as well. So you have issue with that, so shift it up. And same thing here, the mirror means the side, so it's now good. So now what we need to do is to break the points into, so start filling a uh, fillet for everything. Cancel. Fillet every first side of the whole program. So this is the part for the what for the site which is set at this level. So what then do we need to do? We now need to create a base for it where everything is to uh, we stay behind. And the little thing I need to do here, let me quickly edit it. I need to simplify that. Okay, this is the part to the entrance position. So I'm selecting this. So we're still going to use the same level to enter into that part so the same thing because if you pack you come here as well so i'm selecting that together to work on that level so so i'm breaking here now break and break it so fill the side that is necessary good so close this up So click finish you can check it from 3d and see what we have created so this is what we've done so as you have done this one you can just reduce this something click on 50 and let it come to close so that is the for that so change the categories of material so that you'll be able to identify what you are doing from there you start the whole project expression one after the other so what i do here is that i'm going to select sites just use any one let me use aluminium so start create a million like this and say updates duplicate the material asset so it tends to change for me from here then i go to appearance library from appearance library i'm going to go to site so from the site now am i selecting i'm selecting asphalt so i'm going to use asphalt library for this particular project so i'm closing it now so go to graphics, then select the rendering appearance. So please, and this one is done. So as I have done with this now, I need to indicate that the, there is parking structure in which this city will fall. So I'm clicking finish. So as I'm clicking finish, I will still edit on this because I'm going to use the same family to create that. So go to your foundation, and the foundation now starts the process of this. So what I need to do is that I'm starting from one side, which is using the triangular moment. So what I'm doing at the middle, I will go select the long, the the length of a vertical parking. So the parking space here is selected. So hundred is okay. Or oh, let's just say yes. Let's say eighty. This is okay for the. For the mark line so see and i'm going to com copy this at the 300 interval so let's say at that edge that's situated there and this one situated at this point so i'm having this and i'm going to mirror this one so that is it so this is the parking part of this so car park at this level and everything set on that position so go back to the 3d and see what you've done so reduce this one again to 70 so a little bit above so you're seeing what you have cut back like this and that's so it's a mini library for the staff to have the home side area so i'm done with this light now so let me quickly do a green work on this so i go back to the side foundation so i'm going to select architecture and from here i'm going to pick up the component 
and the components now i'm going to select what i need as a what flower fast and flower point so all these flower japanese and things are going to be useful here so bring them to this position and see how far they can go so one was going to sell this side another one at this side so i'm going to feel them from 3d and see where they are flowing so i'm going to hum my realistic view see the green section of the whole building and see how far they are related to what i'm creating so that is it so i think this is it so i'm not i don't like this tree so i'm going to edit it then edit so i'm going to change the height first so change the height to something like 4500 and the next is the appearance, rendering appearance, I'm going to change it. So the rendering appearance, now I'm going to use Chinese Juniper. So Chinese Juniper will be okay for me, apply it. So everything will change to Chinese Juniper. So I have it at this point. So go back to this and arrange them again. So let them fit to the position where I want them to fit it to. So Chinese Juniper now, I want, it to, I want to have them in like in triple, in three places. So I'm putting one here and I'm putting this third one there. So select this. So I'm gonna do the same thing here by copy. So I'm selecting it and pasting it here. So Chinese Juniper has three and three boxes exceptional. So good. So this is what I have at this level for the aesthetic. So when you look back on the south elevation, you're going to see a little bit different. There's something here has changed to so select this and select select again select and then adjust it let it move down a bit to the lower level so the elevation is changing and everything is changing so go back to this and then you select your it's moving back a little bit than what i was expecting so i'm going to go to foundation again shift it forward good so go back to 3d and see good so this base is done and another thing i need to work on now uh, is the base of this particular area which is going to take a green section so click on the foundation go back to the this for a uh, family i did the family create new one by selecting extrusion pick this and um, on this level just pick on um, green completely let it flow by this side I same thing this one flow within this box finish it up and then you go to material so this one you're going to do duplicate it and appearance is there select the property and change the property from the sides work and you move to the to the grass which is what generic i'm going to use generic on that level so generic is being selected and what is needed is to update so this one has been updated and it's been taken over the place so click finish and see whether the generic is going to be there if it's not there you come back to the edit so done so select this one now reduce the to let's say 40 because i want it to be lower than that one good so that is it you selected the green area and green section what we need now is to do the environment particularly right but before then i'm going to change this one i'm going to have a white track on this category of this change it to white track category did you have any white around this frame i think the frame is the same, the same method so yeah so white track is there i'm changing this i'm uh, rearranging the color i want it to be more deep than this what i'm saying so i'm selecting this roughness of image information first roughness of image so what am i doing i'm going to reposition that with repeated section so scale it down to something of what of 500 good so let it be done on that level so for me reflection and everything is done so i can just click ok like this and see whatever so details are coming out one after the other 
So now go back to the foundation and then let's continue with the process that we are working on. So I'm going to use this particular one. I just say create copy. I just copy this. So I've copied that one. I'm returning this part to like uh, 250 the way it was. Go to edit this one. Delete the O center tendency. Then start creating this by using. I'm not going to use this particular peak line. So I'm selecting peak line at your side to flow to the whole building. So this one is done for me. So what I need next is to offset. Offset this at level of what's 800. So offset all around. Repeat offset. Repeat the offset, repeat the offset, repeat the offset. So now I need to close everything down. So where do I need to close? I close them up. Stream everything that is streamable. So, so every joint that I need trimming, you trim them completely. And then you click finish. Since it's done here yeah, now. So the material is there and everything is there. The next thing is I'm going to copy this on the spot. So I'm going to just press 1, press enter, escape, and this edit this one. This time around, I'm going to increase this one to 270. So 70, so that it's more higher. Uh, let me see, 80 or 90. Does it have that highness? So select this stream of then you go back to the site that we did that. So at that side, you select the green area that we flew. So I'll move on this. I'm selecting this green part. So before then, I will now do offset. Offset here as I'm going to create. Select to, let's say, 150 to the offset without what? Without copy. So return them back. One after the other completely you turn them back by this so you turn them back and i'm sorry that part supposed not to so you turn them back at the external side so this one is already fixed and you click on the finish and you see them in 3d and the whole thing is set so this is how you create the whole site activity so before then let's do the Let's put some flower into space and see how the beauty will come out completely. So select components. I will select components. Go to the this particular one. Then you select orange green. So come here, edit it. So three thousand instead. So I use nine hundred. And the appearance will change it. So go to general appearance and select show grass. So at this one I'm going to use to do the do the redentron and things like that. So select it and place them here. Put here. Put another one here. Put another by right side, another one by right side. So select the same thing here. Do the same thing with this here yeah. and then here. Yeah. So from here now press escape, then you copy the paste, paste, then the paste. So see same thing here too, paste, paste, then the paste. So I think I'm done with this. You can now check on 3D and see how far the whole line of action has been. So this is what we have. This is how you can select this instance. So move it up to something like above 250. So there will be. Good. So you jump up now and it's more feasible. So that is how the whole environment looks like. And the whole things come up now in details level. So you can use this to manipulate some assignments yourself. Edit. 
and do this and I'll come here and say foundation so I want to put just say edit description then I'm going to use rectangular section to do this work so select this paste then I will do offset like 120 so select and then paste do the same thing here so I'm going to do this minus here so let's one says inside and click ok finish it and then look at it from 3D completely and you see the beauty has come out so that is how we create the library section and every other thing so in the next program we are going to design defensing and put the property into the place so you see that the whole functions are coming out one after the other thanks for watching god bless you see you in the next program